when the carved Halloween pumpkins finally go to the animals as food, and the ram goes back to the yews, then it is certain that winter is near. The ram spent the summer looking after the lambs. They are happy to meet their mums again. Could there be any milk left by any chance? Better check. The ram uses all his sheepish charm and affection with the yews to make up for his long absence. After all, autumn is sheep mating time. And they tell each other all the news over a hearty meal. Marta the Yo starts her indoor training to get ready for her therapy visits to the local nursing homes and care centres. This involves going into small bedrooms and crowded common rooms and walk along narrow corridors. So we try to practice Marta's indoor mobility skills a bit at home. By the way, thanks for all the contributions we received towards these therapy visits. We would have loved to show you more about the visits we've done so far, but it's too tricky to get any film footage of these visits. Here are a few photos though. We plan to visit schools, cancer support groups and daycare centres soon too. It's time for the autumnal donkey hoof trimming session. Judy, be careful because, um, you know, the dogs love the cut off bits of hoof. I wonder, do they taste to them a bit like crisps taste to us? Moorish, I mean. And Annie, too. Gordon is growing into a fine teenage donkey. My plan is to train him to collect the post for us, but he tells me that he is too busy with his French lessons at the moment. Our rabbits Snowball and Oreo had their first lot of baby rabbits. And just about big enough to stroke four rabbit heads. And you lovely. But they are growing up so fast. Eight weeks old now. Are you proud of you? The horses make the best of the quieter time in the yard. Sleeping. Daydreaming. And longingly gazing over the fence where the grass is at its winter rest. But we are still going for our rides. Rain or shine. And we do a bit of training to keep fit and agile, with Trudy's help, of course. Generally, Trudy is a very helpful dog. She stares at monsters in the hedge for hours. She 
She helps spread the new gravel in the paddock. She tries to teach the lambs how to bark. And she has tooth-to-tooth -tooth discussions with Annie. Annie is the housekeeper in the barn and tidies up crumbs after all our messy eaters. Bob, however, has perfected the art of taking it easy. He's a very old dog now, so he wears his overalls all day long so that he doesn't get too cold. There's not much of a wild bird morning chorus these days. Barn morning chorus instead. Morning. Huh? Are they up yet, uh, Trudy? Are they up yet? Oh, don't think so. Morning. Wakey, wakey, breakfast time. These are our new outdoor pigs who help eat our magnificent potato harvest. Is it to run across the field? Trudy is a loyal companion when it comes to outdoor chores in not so nice weather. Always at my heel or running ahead, checking out who's been trespassing overnight. Just as well that I got a wheelbarrow diploma. Those skills are handy around the animal chores, whether it is transporting feed or muck. And just when we get tired of the gloomy, soggy days, we get up to a sunrise like this and the world is more than perfect again.